um, when the lawsuit against uh, Greece's prayer pack practice was filed back in 2001, Nathan McDermott, a reporter from the Democratic Chronicle, surveyed all of the towns in Monroe County to find out how many of them invited clergy into their government meetings to deliver prayers. Of the 19 towns Megan surveyed, only one did that, the town of Greece. This practice that Supervisor Alberger started was a very bad idea. Why? Because religion is divisive. That's why, when this country was established, the founders looked back at Europe and saw all the blood that had been spilled over religion there, and they decided that they did, they did not want that in our country. That's why they created a constitution, to keep religion out of the government. Religion is not being kept out of the government in Greece, New York. In 2007, Susan Galloway, who was here, and I met with town officials and asked them to do away with the Christian prayer business. We were told the town could not do that, and this was the reason we were given. It would offend the pastors if they did away with the prayers, we were told. That shows you what's gone wrong in the town of Greece. Religious leaders' wishes are more important than those of the ordinary people who live here and pay taxes. The Democrat Chronicle recently ran an editorial advising the town board to go back to a moment of silence before its government meetings. The editorial writer pointed out that having these Christian prayers month after month was divisive and the town board had serious matters to attend to and too much of its time was being eaten up by the controversy over this prayer business. You know, I've, t I've attended a lot of town board meetings, and one I remember vividly was when 10 or 15 Muslims, men, women, and children, were seated in the audience here. They had come to see about getting a permit to open a Turkish cultural center in town. And at the beginning of the meeting, a Christian pastor got up and said a prayer to Jesus. Do you know how inappropriate that was? I've lived in the town of Greece for over four decades, and I like living here. But this prayer practice makes the town look ridiculous. It makes the town look like some podunk place in Alabama or Mississippi. Because of the prayer lawsuit, the whole country looked at Greece, New York, and laughed, or they were appalled. Of course, the ultra-conservative Christians didn't laugh. They loved the fact that the town board thought more of its Christian residents than anyone else. The town supervisor in Brighton has spoken out about the situation in Greece. He said that Brighton never starts their town board meetings with prayers. Brighton has a large Jewish population. If he were like Supervisor Alberger, he would have probably invited a rabbi in every month to give a Jewish prayer. But the town supervisor in Brighton knows that there is diversity of belief in the town of Brighton, and that would be a stupid thing for him to do. I think this whole prayer business is going to drag on and on in Greece, and it's going to continue to damage the reputation of the town. I urge the supervisor and the town board to rethink this prayer business. Thank you. Thank you.